Hey guys, welcome back to Blackacre Ranch. I'm Sharla and we've got some mulching going on. So hang out and see all the hard work coming up. All right, so I'm here with Talmadge who's filling up our baby water and we have a mulching guy out today. He is mowing, mulching, today mulching. We'll see if he gets mowing also. So we have 187 acres and my husband Jeff works full time and we're trying to build out this bison ranch. Now imagine that there's only so many hours in the day. When we got our tractor, Jeff got a big huge 12 foot bat wing mower to go with it, which was so wise. And he's been able to use that a lot. However, because it's taking so long to kind of manage the property, get everything taken care of. Things are just growing beyond the capacity of the bat wing. So we decided to take a step and clear out some areas and hire somebody to come mulch slash mow, heavy duty mow, so that way we can clear out some of these areas quicker and finish up some pastures and open up other areas for us. I'm not sure how many days he's coming out and how much progress we're gonna get out of this, but it's a step in the right direction hopefully so let's go ahead and check out the before scenes of the areas we're looking at and then we'll get some good footage of him working um, he's a skid steer so he's not as big as previous mulchers we've had so he's doing a good job just not as fast as we're used to I guess and then we'll kind of go ahead and make sure we get some good after shots so stick around and see the progress just cleaning up the areas that I've already mowed and there are some sections I of course couldn't get to and this one is all these like sweet gum trees they're super massive tall he's going through and just kind of clearing them out getting them down so that way I don't have to worry about them um, here's the before of course you've been seeing and then this is what it looks like afterwards second area that he was also working on with pine. And we're just showing you the big areas, guys. He's going around these trees and doing a bunch of stuff and trying to trim up near close to trees. But this group of pines, I just left it alone. And so he went ahead and gone after this. This is, of course, is what it looks like after. All right, now that he's cleared out of here, I came to get a close up. He left these two pine trees just because they're a little fatter, not as sapling-esque. Um, but this was the whole pile that he cleared. Like that is, it was a pretty big patch. And then this was the other area he was working afterwards. I mean, he cleans it up really well. The stumps are ground. You can kind of tell where they were, but they're definitely not 
stumps really anymore. Looks great. So obviously when you're gonna look at this, now what we're gonna do is just expose all those trees that have fallen down and that need to come down and that's exactly what we've done. In order to keep our kids busy, we thought we'd do a little bit of mulching of our own. So Clark starts mulching with our little mower and they kind of cleared out the dog pen area, they cleaned out by the house. Everything looks good, he did a good job. So what do the bison do when we mulch, if you might ask? Well, in pasture six, they hang out by the water. Now, we hardly ever get them on video in the water, and sometimes we see them, not a lot, but they decided to just chill and take a bath and swim around while we sit up here mulching. I'm sure nobody's ever thought the bison get hot during summers in Texas. Now, this isn't my favorite watering hole, it's just a catchment pond just catches some runoff sometimes it does dry up um, the water isn't super great but it does allow them to cool off and uh, I think they do enjoy it although there are times in the year I just want to fill it in and and get rid of it but for now we keep it and they swim as much as they want Now we're onto the brush by the hand facility. Now this is parts that I have not mulched or mowed. So he's going to town on this and he's gonna start clearing this and moving south east, I believe, if I remember right. I just didn't know the slope and the terrain on this one, but he's doing a good job here. He's just gonna go through, making a big loop, and he just takes sections at a time and works his way through it. Because he's in this little skid steer, of course, he can just get closer to these trees. And it's not like those big ones that were just gonna... If I wanted to take down a bunch of these big trees, I'd get a big mulcher. But he's doing, he's doing just fine with his little guy, and it really just makes me want to have a skid steer, to be honest. Maybe I should. Let me know if I should buy a skid steer. It's worth it to do it, to put a mower on the front, and some other things. It's the next day of mulching and um, he's cleared this out. Now we've asked him to just kind of leave some small stuff so Jeff can go back with just the bat wing and clear it out so it's not as cleaned up as it could be but he's been able to make a lot more progress so he's way down there now. Um, he's been at it for a few hours this morning so it's looking good. All right so there's the road down. He hasn't gotten this far yet in five. Um, however, he has been over here, and so again, he's going around the trees, he's getting any saplings that are too big for the mower, um, so again, it doesn't look as clean as it could. And so over there, I think you can kind of really see some of that work he's got done around those little guys. But hopefully it's going to save some time so he can just really focus on the bigger things, and then Jeff can come through and clean it all up but this is looking a lot better. Definitely looks like stuff that we can just mow now. It's not windy. Yeah, the one's kind of died down. Of course, the kids get bored. I never had a so they brought kites, because why not? We're on the top of a hill and it's windy, so. Let them have some fun with their kites and fly them around and as I watch mulchers. We can go ahead and see all the way up to the handling facility, um, all the way up the ridge there. So definitely gives a different feel out here than it did before. So this is where he hasn't been yet, next to where he has been. So really it's these saplings that are just a pain is what he's working on. And you can see how much nicer it is. Once all that's gone. Other things that go on on the ranch while they're mulch, because you can't watch them all the time, is gas. You need to get more gas. Gas delivery came through. All right, we've been doing some cleanup. We got about five bags around the pavilion. Then we cleaned up around the garage. We got a bunch of trash there. 
Um, so it's looking good. Definitely improving out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so May Maisie, is this a story of your life? Oh yeah. Facing the wrong way. That's right. Got it. Got oh, it. Right. Other baby <laughs> there you go. Support right there. That's right. See, one one less thing that I have to do. We appreciate the helpers here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand how tall that thing really is. It's pretty beastly, actually. Yeah, it's Okay, our Moultrie guy is off in the distance, working hard. We'll go check on him in a little bit. But our missionaries are going to help us. Some of this we've already cut but never cleaned up. Um, so we have a few down trees, and then as we go, if we have the chainsaw, we can try and break stuff up, but if it's too big, we'll come back with the tractor. As he's been mulching, he's been able to uncover stuff, so we can now collect it and drag it out and make it easier to mow in the future. So it's been a good day. We're going to take advantage of the cleaned up area that we have now. You're small. Well, sometimes you are small, Chica. Look out of the Park, you gonna go help? No. What? She don't have it all. What? Do you think you're gonna let those big, strong guys do your work? Yeah. I see how it is. Look, look, your sisters are showing you up as Mari almost gets attacked. Yeah, I don't get attacked. I don't have gloves. But why don't you have gloves? You didn't grab any? Well, that's all you, dude. I know. Look, little Lorna, she's helping. Barely. Slacker. You can do it, bug. Push. That wasn't a push. There you go. Watch out, Mari. You're making me nervous, girl. Oh, now, now you can pick a tree up. Good job, dude. I can't believe the ones I took those down. No, these are ones we took down. Yeah. These are ones we took down. Yeah. And we moved and we put. <laughs> we were cleaning up around everywhere. here. Oh, you don't. Are we getting these, are we getting these small sticks as well? Like. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, that that looks like a load. There we go. I'm I found another one. What are you found finding? Another, found another snail. Oh. Yeah. I dropped him. What did you drop him? <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever. I want the snail. I want the snail. Give me the snail. Okay, let's get the snail. Snail and snail or something. Oh. I don't think it's alive. Oh, yeah. All right, so this guy really is broken up into pieces. He is pretty still thick, but he's been decomposing, so I think he's more possible to move. But it's definitely not an easy job here. All right, if it's too much, we can we can do it with a tractor. <laughs> if it's too much, we can empty this out and then back. Always think Mommy, it's too much. do you have a hatchet? Dude, I'm not hatcheting anything. Not with a hatchet. If you don't have a chainsaw, we're not doing it. Snap right there. Why not? Perfect. Pick it up and snap it. Oh yeah, it looks like it's gonna break right there. Yay. See, who needs a chainsaw? We've got Elder Owens. <laughs> oh, that, oh, dang it! It started rolling. I just couldn't. Dang anything. it! Go ahead and bolt. Okay. We just get this. Here, I'm gonna like slide it over. Yes. <laughs> Alright, watch out, Kleinman. And I'm like, eh, this is gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Go. No, it's not. I'm gonna Good move up the hill. Good That's job. Funny. Oh, 
What did you find? Blackberries! Oh! They're not actual are they, blackberries. They're not ripe though. No. There's one that's red. There is a red one. Oh, and there's some over here. Yeah, I was giving you credit on that one, man. You threw in a couple of feet. There's a copperhead right here. We have a copperhead? Yeah. What's um, a copperhead? A snake. A snake. Deadly snake. Don't, I mean, that means stop moving. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, hello. Someone give me a stick. Did something to it. It's working on it. So you can Mario's, grab behind oh his yeah, head, right? Yeah, that's the Mario's there knife, but not that kind of knife. Nice. It's a murderer. Hey, we appreciate that skill yeah. right there. You see that snake dying. Alright, the head's right here. Just watch that's out. That's totally not what I saw. Good right there. Can you still? I can't even. Can it still? The head's right there. Dangling. Hey. <laughs> so elder comes to the rescue and saves us from a copperhead that's the story guys if you have a copperhead this dude knows what he's doing um, my kids would not have either seen it and they would not have probably acted as fast so good job owens he did great and if you were wondering he did take it home he did skin it he did eat it and he put the skin around his cowboy hat so i'm telling you he's from idaho man he's out in east idaho he knows what he's doing so anyway that is some really good cool stuff that he did man with just that copperhead skin so okay our last area we cleaned up we had cut this down over winter break fall sometime when it was all dead we have a little bit left here but that should be able to be hit with the mower just fine um didn't make for one big brush pile mess in the trailer so we're gonna get this back and we'll be done cleaning up brush today Okay, the mulcher is actually up the way and he's working towards us. So this is on the far east side of our upper five pasture. And we thought we'd give you a view of kind of the before, kind of back over here a little bit better. And this used to be when we bought the place two years ago, they had mowed all of this actually just recently at the time. And so the trees behind us are exactly the reason why we're kind of mowing, like having a mulcher guy come out. That is two years of growth on these trees and it's crazy I mean they're almost they're probably 20 feet tall right. and you know this is the stuff I don't want to go over with the mower and I, I avoid it in the other pastures but nature will reclaim itself some trees grow faster I think those are sweet gums um, just trash trees no but there's no real value in them that I see but anyway this is the stuff he's going over there's a lot of it you can see his actual mowable stuff but you know, we told him just focus on these big things like this. And so he's not really taking care of the grass like mowing. He's just trying to get these big saplings. But this area was completely mowed down like all the stuff here at my feet two years ago. So it's crazy to see what's actually like, <laughs> what grows so fast if you don't maintain it. Another case in point, if you look over here, you used to see our fence. The fence is actually back here, and all of this stuff, even the pine, has been growing up and in. And so we need to trim all that back. Now this stretch here is a quarter mile from here all the way back up to the handling facility, which you can almost see the top of six way back down there. So you'll see that there are some T-posts. This is the future fence line. We're going to be fence lining it right down here about a quarter mile length. So we're going to do some long, long pulls here. Um, Gonna split them up but we're gonna have this be pasture five and then this is the fence line which we've got to find it's just about 10 feet back in there so this is where it kind of goes is like you know we want to get all these pastures set up and we want to get it to the point where we can mow it so that way we can maintain it otherwise you have to pay a mulcher guy to come out here and if you and if you're not prepped for it nature is going to start claiming this sucker back really fast and it's going to start messing everything up we're kind of you know we didn't start mowing quick enough 
um, the first time. But we're just trying to take it bite at a time as we're going through and say, hey, next pasture, here we go, next pasture, here we go. So we're working five right now. Now we'll have four and five coming up. But yeah, I thought just case in point, look at the size of this stuff that's just growing. So what he's doing here is he's just speed going over most of it. So he's mainly clearing out, like we mentioned before, just these big saplings and even the smaller saplings. But the small pine trees and other things that are kind of small that we don't have to worry about so much, I can easily take care of them with the mower. So when he encounters those, he's just driving along, dropping his roller down and just kind of going across, back dragging where he gets kind of thick. Otherwise, he's acting like a de facto mower but he's just trying to clear out enough but by the time he goes from trees packet to tree packet he might as well just drop the mower and mow for us so that's what you can see him doing right now you know there's nothing big that's right there but there's just some stumps here and there so he's just dropping it down and going So now that he's mulched everything, we can kind of get an idea of what the ground looks like. Now, as I said, I'm coming back over with the mower, but there is a, like a, a, a mat of grasses and vegetation, I'll call it vegetation, on the ground. And my original idea was to come back out here and, and mow all of, not mow, but seed it all. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I'm gonna have second thoughts about that. Like, I might come back over, mow it, and leave it, and let it go a year try and get some buffalo on it and just seeing how it looks and then think about reseeding this section at a later date next year or the year after but just there's a lot of stuff actually that's down here so that's something I'm thinking about just doing is holding off seeding here for next year all right so here's the north property line And then here's the south property line. And these trees right here is where there's the ridge and starts dropping um, down farther west for the rest of our property. We're gonna wrap this up guys. Mulching is now done as you can see. We've had all this stuff. It's been great to have him come out here and do it. There are other places on the property he's gonna start working next. We'll get you some footage here and there of it. There's just a lot going on. Um, a lot of stuff. So mulching is one of them. That means now five and four, those two pastures are opened up that we can start mowing. He's gotten close to property lines, not mowing, fencing. So he's gotten close to property lines and we want to try and get this thing fenced as soon as possible. But I'll be honest with you, man. The first year we did this, we fenced in the summer. It sucked. Second year, we fenced in the summer. And I said, gosh darn it, I don't ever want to fence in the summer. I swear when June hits, to July or, or August or September, I don't want to fence. Guess what we're gonna be doing this year, guys? Fencing. So, you gotta get it done. You gotta pound through it, push through it as fast as you can, and just do your best. So, it sucks. Gosh, it's tight. So, anyway, we appreciate you joining along, guys. We're gonna wrap it up here. Keep with us, like and subscribe. Lots of things going on as we build this bison ranch from scratch. Talk to you later, bye. Oh, yeah.